Do you want more money? Maybe you want to have a bigger impact in your community. Maybe you want to buy a new house. Maybe you want a house out of the apartment like I used to live in. Maybe you want to just give it all away but be able to see the satisfaction on other people's face or hey, maybe you just want that new Tesla that's coming out. I don't know. But my name is Joe Mava with Master Life by Design. In today's video is why you don't have more money. And the key word is resistance. And so let's jump in because this is a big thing that a lot of people I coach have a problem with, right? Like they want to make more money, they want to make an impact, and so, but they want to make an income, right? And so how do they do that? And what is it that's really pushing that parking brake on? Like what's really stopping you? By the way, I cut my finger and I have my son's little, uh, you can't see it, it's like a little Marshall Band-Aid from uh, Chase and Marshall Paw Patrol. That's what it is. So if you get distracted by this, this is why. But anyway, <laughs> fun side note. So here's the thing. A lot of clients, what they do is they focus on what they don't have, right? They're focused, I don't have the money. Um, <clears throat> or they're like, I, they, they focus on their bank account when it says like, Joe, look at the numbers, I don't have the money. And I get that. But as soon as you put that fo where focus goes, energy flows, right? But what you also focus on, you feel. So you're gonna feel doubt. You're gonna feel like you're poor. You're gonna feel scarcity. You're gonna feel broke. All the emotions that I felt when I was almost $40,000 in credit card debt and it took me years to get out of. And I didn't understand why. I was working hard. I worked a job here and there. I, you know, I worked overtime and it's just like, ugh. And outside of changing my money beliefs, which is a big one, what I learned was I had a lot of resistance, right? Because what I focused on was what I didn't want. I didn't want the debt. So I was focused on debt and I get more of it, right? Because if you think about it, we're in an energy-based universe. There's just, we're all energy. I'm energy, this desk is energy, this cell phone's energy, this camera's energy. And so you, if you've ever, one of my favorites is Abraham Hicks. She talks about this a lot, but, <clears throat> And that is, you know, you attract what you want. And so law of attraction type stuff, right? It's not about what you think, but what you feel. And so how are you feeling? If you're feeling lack, if you're feeling scarcity, if you're feeling like you just aren't enough, then you're gonna get more of that. And I did that for years. I didn't understand that law and the cycle that I was in. And so the first part is your focus on that. Now here's the crazy part. <clears throat> When you're focused on how you want more money, you're actually in resistance. You're what? I'm focused on what I do want. Yes, and you're focused on resistance. What do I mean is when you say I want blank amount, you're actually telling the universe this is what I don't have and therefore keep me in lack. And so that lack is what you continuously attract in your life. Instead of being like, hey, I have plenty of money with where I am. I am feeling abundant with what you do have, right? Gratitude, and I made a video about gratitude. I highly encourage you to check it out. How do you get into gratitude if you don't feel grateful in the moment? What are some tips, tools, strategies to be able to do that, right? But anyway, jumping out of gratitude. But saying, you know, one of the things I like to tell myself is, I don't need any more money. I don't need any more because when I don't need more money, it feel I'm feeling abundant. I'm like, man, look at what, how much I got in a bank, my stocks, you know, my crypto, my real estate. Like, I, I I got plenty, and all of a sudden more comes. In fact, today I just got a friend of mine, you know, offered me a coaching client for half of what the client was going to pay, and it's a nice chunk of change. And so I was like, sure, I have a couple extra time slots on my calendar for a month. I'll take it on to be able to help out because they're full. So I'm just attracting more because I'm living in satisfaction and abundance. The reason why most people don't have what more money is because they live in a resistance. Well, I don't have this, so they get more of it. Then they say, oh, well, I want all this. And guess what? You're speaking lack to the universe too. Because there's this desire like, oh my gosh, I want this. I don't have it, right? Ooh, it's, it's like, oh, it's like that unhealthy feeling, right? And I know I'm over exaggerating, but that's the truth. The reason you don't have money is because of those two scenarios. So what I recommend is be abundant with what you have and where you are. And 
feel how good it feels to have this. And because just like I said, go watch my gratitude video, comparison's a great game. What if where you where you are now is the three fourths of the world's dream. You don't understand, Joe, I'm only making three grand a month. Great, I think like two thirds of the world is living on less than $3 a day. You're, you're, you're rich compared to these people. So stop focusing on what you don't have. Stop focusing on where you wish you were and focus on where am I in the present and live there and feel abundant. That's a muscle that needs to be built. That's a muscle. You got to build that muscle because if you don't, you're going to you're going to think about the past, you're going to think about what you want in the future that you don't have and you're going to reject it. Resistance is like you have this goal or this vision of what you're going to create in your life and you're pressing on the gas, but the resistance is the break. You'll get there like it's just going to take a long time, right? Like you push on the gas, go 60, but you push on the brake at the same time and now you're only going 6 miles an hour. And it's going to take you a whole hell of a lot longer to get you to your goal. Doesn't mean you can't. It's just that resistance is like a weight on you. You got to shift how you feel and live in alignment. You got to send that great frequency, that good vibe, that good energy, whatever you want to call it. You got to go in that space and that's how you create more money. Now you got to do the work, obviously. Like you can't just sit here and feel good and abundant and then expect a million dollars to show up at your door. It doesn't work like that. You got to go put out the YouTube videos. You got to go talk to the clients or the agents or whoever it is. You have to go do the hustle. You have to do the work. And like Gary Vee says, you know, don't do shit you hate. So do something you love, Get feel great about it, get in that vibration, and then all of a sudden, watch what doors start to open. And I know it seems this can seem if you're hearing this for the first time, all airy fairy or whatever, but it's there's laws to the universe, right? There's laws, just like the law of gravity. You don't have to believe in gravity, but go jump off a 10 story building, see what happens. Whether you believe it or not, gravity is still gonna exist. So you don't have to. You can say, Joe, I don't believe in that crap. And I might sit there and say, well, that's the reason why you're broke or you don't have what you're ultimately wanting or desiring, which is a feeling of lack. But anyway, so I challenge you to live in the moment, feel blessed, to say, I don't need anything else. I feel so grateful for what I have. And I have a favorite part of my house. It's a sign over my back door. It says gratitude. It turns what you have into enough. And that is the secret to how you create more money in your life, how you attract more money, how you create, multiply, whatever it is that you want around money. You gotta live there because it comes from your feelings. And there's people, there's there's great people out there, and I certainly haven't done it, but they measure your electromagnetic field, your auras, your chakras, like just all of it, just to see when you're in those states, how do you show up, how do you feel, What you know, the resistance, the, the abundance, and seeing what comes into your life. And so that's not me, I don't have that data on me. I could probably get it for you. Dr. Joe Dispenza is really good at that and he bases his life work around that. Um, so check him out, I really highly recommend him. His book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, love it. So anyway, start living in the moment, being grateful for what you have. Tell yourself, I don't need more money, I have plenty. And even though your brain's gonna say, no, you don't, look, the logical side's gonna say that, ignore it. Tell yourself, I have plenty of money and all my money situations are always fulfilled. And when you start living there and you truly, truly start to feel that, cultivate that, all of a sudden, watch what flows to you. And it's, <clears throat> it may take some years, months or years for you to get into that headspace and get into alignment with that. But you know what? Hey, better sooner rather than later, right? Or at least at some point in your life instead of dying and struggling your whole life. So many of you, you might sit there and be like, wow, Joe, that was really good stuff. I can see how I'm focused on what I want. Or some of you might be like, I'm not focused on what I want or don't want. I'm focused on what I want. But man, that point really hit home to me with when I focus on what I want and I'm clung to it and attached to it, it's a feeling of lack, it's of I'm not having. And therefore that's resistance to what I'm ultimately going after. So how you get more is you tell yourself, I'm happy and grateful for what I have. You live in that gratitude. You live in that abundance space and the game changes. So with that, 
I hope you found value in this video. Comment below, what was your biggest distinction? What are you gonna do differently around your money? What did you do and how did that change your financial situation? Love to hear that below. Hit that thumbs up button and most importantly, subscribe. We're coming at you with three videos a week. And so I'm looking forward to seeing all of you on there. Make sure you hit that notification button also so that you get node updated when I post a video for you guys. So with that, my name's Joe Moffitt. Go out there, make more money, uh, enjoy.